why do y'all keep letting this little light skin B word off of the hook? So this isn't true. Okay. And this is this is the narrative that was put out by fans and basketball fans. I'm I'm on record. I do not like basketball fans. I hate them. They are the scum of the sports earth. It's ridiculous, and I do not like them dudes. But the narrative is that um, the last dance was put out because of LeBron. That's not why the last dance was put out. This isn't true. What Scottie Pippen saying right here? He did. It's not why the last dance was put out. And I'm tired of people not just putting two and two together. People refuse to accept that the Warriors had the biggest meltdown in NBA Finals history. Like, it is the worst loss in the history of the NBA Finals. They had a 73-9 and nine record in the regular season, and then they lost nine playoff games. I don't think y'all understand that that's how many playoff games they lost. So I think how many games did they lose at home the whole year? Like one? Then within a span of two weeks, they lose two games. Within a span of a week, they lose two games at home? News flash: The Bulls had the best record in NBA history. And they want to ship. Nobody wants to put two and two together. That when it's it's no different than the guys from the 72 Dolphins. When undefeated teams lose a game, they pop a bottle. It's no different than that. Y'all keep letting the Warriors off the hook. They had the biggest meltdown ever. And Michael knew to rub it in their faces because all year people were saying, is this the greatest team ever? Is this the greatest team ever? Is this the greatest team ever? And then when they lost, you got the last dance. And people tried to blame it on Brian. Y'all be on Brian nuts. Y'all don't want to hold nobody else accountable, but y'all love talking bad about Brian. Y'all some, y'all be on Brian nuts. That last dance dropped because of the Warriors. I'm sick and tired of this narrative because it, it, it lets the losers off the hook of why that documentary really got put out. And I wish Michael would just come out and say this. But he's such a hater that he's okay with the hate on Brian narrative. When he know damn well the reason why they put that documentary out is because of the damn Warriors. And I'm going to tell you how I know. I'm going to tell you how I know. When that finals happened, I was in Jackson, right? I was the only person in the world telling people that the Cavs was not going to lose four games, and I don't give a damn what. They weren't going to lose. I, I was saying it. I'm the only person that when it was 3-1 saying, yo, you, they're going to come back. And guess what happened? They did. But that's beside the point. So when Kyrie Irving hit the shot, right, it was two people in the room cheering. It was a room full of people. It had to be at least 20 of us in the room watching this game. When Kyrie Irving hit that shot, two people cheered. Listen, nobody was going for the Cavs but me. But two people cheered. Wonder who the two people were? Me. And the second guy that came back that cheered was a guy from Chicago. He cheered because in his mind, the Warriors not winning solidified that the Bulls were still the best team ever. He cheered for them losing as a Chicago native. I will never let a person tell me that LeBron was the reason why the last dance dropped. When I, in real time, as soon as Kyrie Irving hit that shot, witnessed 
this energy from somebody from Chicago to try to shit on that team. That's what he was doing, and that's what Michael was doing. And can nobody tell me different because I literally seen it happen in real time. And y'all letting Kyrie, I mean, not Kyrie, but y'all letting Steph off the hook. Y'all letting the Warriors off the hook for being failures. They never ran it back. They went and got Kyrie to help, I mean, uh, uh, Katie to help them. So y'all have to stop this foolishness with this narrative. This ain't true. This is not true. They did not drop that to hate on Bron. How can you hate on Bron? <laughs> it wasn't to do that. It was to doodle on the Warriors. It was to say, yo, we are the best team ever. Y'all talking about the Bron. Y'all love Bron. Y'all love to hate Bron so much that you talk about him. People don't realize that even when they're hating, they're still running their mouth about the dude. So this is not true at all. No way, no how. And they need to hold the losers accountable for being the losers. Yeah, the NBA rig. I know that. Of course it is. I'm not going to say it's not rigged when it works in the favor of the people that I like. Yes, it's rigged even when the people that I like win. Yes, 